Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, just want to give you some update on what I'm doing here. Uh, so, in my last video, I told you guys I was going to rebuild my loft, uh, do something a little bit shorter, but long, right? So, as you can see, I've already got a good start on it. So, all the framing's done. I'm going to extend that all the way over there. So, um, my other loft is over there. But it's just, I just want it away from the shop. You know, it kind of smells. I can smell it in the garage, all the pigeons and stuff. So, I don't know. It doesn't personally bother me, but, uh, you know, I just don't want my kids to have to smell that stuff. Because they do work there quite a bit on their cars and stuff. So, I'm going to move it out here. Um, I put enough spacing here so I can get the lawn mower, my riding mower through. Um, so yeah, uh, right now it's 16 by uh, 16 by four by four foot high. So and I've reused some of my some of the lumber that I you know I took apart an aviary, an old aviary. So I've reused that because uh, the price of lumber is just crazy right now so so as you can see you know <laughs> these are all repurposed wood um, uh, some of the two by sixes are new but as you can see you know, these are from the old ones I had to painstakingly remove all the chicken wires and stuff like that so but yeah the flooring is all repurposed wood so my next step here, now that the framing is done, I'm going to be putting a wire mesh up above here. That way critters and stuff won't be able to get through. Had issues with uh, that in the past. So next step, wire mesh on top and then uh, put the roof on and then start. Uh, uh, I'll probably, before I put any of the uh, uh sides in the back i'll probably uh, get all the perches and things installed um, get everything i want electrical watering system uh, i made a video on that as well i have an automated watering system so in case hurricane season comes and i have to bail birds are not gonna die from dehydration so anyways yeah so you know, I got the four by four post. It's cemented down, 18 inches, you know, deep. So I think it's good. And then I'll put a skirt on there once it's done. So, anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so I got the. Uh, I said I got the uh, screen on top, and got the purchase uh, installed all the way down. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, I'm starting to um, put the roof on. So these are all repurposed materials, by the way. I got Apaches. Look at these little holes here. But I think I'm going to leave this extended like here. I was going to cut it, but uh, you know, it's kind of nice to go underneath and, you know, put one if it's raining, you know, so you don't get wet. Um, but yeah, I just have to add a few more purchase and uh, finish the roof and then seal it up with uh, this siding so stay tuned okay got the wood <coughs> for the siding uh, my wife actually picked it up at Lowe's this afternoon but it's getting late in the day now so it's gonna have to wait till the morning uh, this is an 8 by 4 sheet and I've got uh, five of them so it's not very thick so you know hopefully it works out but I think it, it'll be fine and it'll get painted and stuff so it'll be protected against the elements um, you know price of lumber is so incredibly expensive right now so I just went with the, the least expensive at the moment you know it can always be replaced if it doesn't work out but uh, for now it should work so uh, stay tuned Hi guys, welcome back to Ponderosa Law. So what we're doing today is we 
are trying to put it on. The siding? So, yes, the siding. And every side, we put like a blue mark here with like a neat thing. Every side is 16 inches. But what we didn't, we are going to do this with the blue thing. Every side is 16 inches, like that. So, if you see around here, every side is 16 inches. Are we stud? Yes. Call a stud. Okay. So, I'm going to wrap up this video and have a nice day. Okay, so we're just finishing up uh, putting the siding. Here's the front. My son, Odin is uh not happy. working <laughs> not happy working hard putting the side in here putting the screws in guys yeah, always falls out push it in what <laughs> hang on you're going the wrong way buddy there we go. You were going the opposite way. <laughs> Anyways, front is uh, done, so we're gonna have a. We're gonna be cutting out, you know, entrance, uh, the trap entrance, and then um, also cutting out uh, somewhere down below here uh, an entrance and exit uh, okay. port um, for the aviary. So there's gonna be an aviary in the front here. So, anyways, stay tuned. Okay, hey guys. Um, so I got the first coat of paint on. This uh, siding that I use is a little bit uh, too dry, as you can see, it, and it's not even. So it's kind of hard to paint with a roller. So, anyways, that's the first coat, and uh, we'll put the second coat on, and then finish uh, putting the. Uh, you know the roof on and build the door and um, yeah that's the next step so talk to you later good evening I am uh, <laughs> I got some wood at uh, Lowe's um, I'm building the, uh, the aviary portion of the, for the new loft which actually will also serve as um, kind of the tossing box as well so it's gonna be detachable uh, so when I'm not using it as a tossing crate it's just gonna sit there um, attached to the loft and you know pigeons can come in and out and get some sun and all that so so it's gonna be a dual purpose thing which is by design because I'm really trying to make this as easy as and as efficient as possible so stay tuned hey guys so i have completed the aviary section but it's like i said it's also a tossing box so um got this to you know if i need to get the pigeons so this is just a uh, I was gonna put hinges on this, but didn't want to, um, <clears throat> you know, put it on hinges. The birds, you know, open it up, the birds can get away. But this way, I have more control. See, I can stick my hand in there and grab the pigeon if needed. Um, and then, you know, if I wanted to toss, do the toss, I can just lift this up. Birds. And come out so like I said in my other uh, this serves as a it's a tossing box but it's also um, you know kind of an aviary so they can come out here and get sun and everything so but the whole idea is <clears throat> I have a bigger loft but it's so hard to get the birds in the um, tossing box it's just a lot of time 
So I built this smaller one so I can sort of, you know, kind of shoe them in that hole, right? Kind of drive them all out there. And I think over time they'll be trained. So drive them out there and then um, be able to, I'll have a string that I can control the uh, door. So once they're all out, I can shut it and then get the pigeons in the box and, um, you know, ready for tossing. Then I'll have, uh, I have another one on this end. So kind of the same concept, you know, drive the pigeons that way. And I think over time they'll be trained to just go out there. So I'm almost done. Um, I just need to put the, uh, complete the roof section. This is a very simple off, um, but that's all it needs really. Uh, and then finish, you know, painting it and uh, call it good. So there's the, there's the loft. It's pretty big, as you can see. My other loft is actually over there. So, and then that's the breeding loft. And that one will be taken down and I'm gonna move them all over here and then extend this someday down that way so anyways just wanted to give you an update there okay just painting the uh, lattice which is uh, one of my use uh, around the base of the, the loft just to dress it up a little bit so it's almost done it up here I'm gonna get the part where it's gonna touch the ground there you go well done so now I just need to attach it okay got the uh, skirt the uh, lattice painted and installed looks really nice so I'm gonna put the second coat of uh, white paint later and uh, so there you go all repurposed <laughs>